would like to ask uh, Mike Duncan from MCA Nashville to come on. This is Matt Williams with Focus on the 615, and we're here at the Country Music Association celebrating George Strait's 60th number one song, Give It All We Got Tonight, and I'm joined now by the song's songwriters. This is Mark Bright, uh, Tim James, and Phil O'Donnell. How are you guys? Good. Good. Congratulations, first of all. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. For such, I mean, it's an, it's an amazing song, and this is number 60, a career milestone. What does that in and of itself mean to you? Well, I mean, we're just happy to be a part of it. It's uh, obviously a guy who's had so many hits in his career to have this milestone. It's, it's been fantastic for all of us. So we're just thrilled to death. Tell us about the origins of the song. How, uh, what was the inspiration behind it? He actually started playing the course melody, and that kind of got us the ball rolling on the, on the day we was writing it. And then uh, part of the verse melody was an old fiddle song that my, my dad used to play, part of it, the first little bit of it. and then. Timmy was spitting stuff. We all started spitting lines up, but we actually never came across the title till the second day. The second day we wrote on it was when we, we just randomly started writing and I guess we said a prayer or something and it <laughs> fell down. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> How long did it take you to write? Uh, well, there was a two day period um, that we wrote the song, but then uh, later on, George wanted uh, a lyric change, one little part. So he got on the phone. I was in the studio. He got on the phone with I, was, was it you? Tim. Tim. Yeah. And, and um, started having him that line out, that one little line that he wanted changed. Uh, so it would still be written right up until the time it was recorded. A few months. Yeah. <laughs> A few months. Yeah. Now, how do you guys work together, or how did you on this song? Is, there, is it an all three way collaboration, or does one do more music, one lyrics? Uh, you know, to how, totally, how does that work? Totally, everybody. He had a phrasing, they had a phrasing in their head that I could not get forever. And I, I ended up singing the demo, just kind of an office demo. 
and I, it just felt so left footed to me and I still, if I'm playing that song in a writer's night, I'll still wait an extra bar where it says <laughs> trust it because they, they, they had something and I just, it wasn't in my wheelhouse, but it was in theirs and it was almost, they were like, trust me, trust me. Tr I'm all right, I'm trusting Trust me, you. trust, trust it. me, trust, trust me. it. It was, it was one of those, but it, it was kind of weird that, uh, that uh, it just took that long, long for me to learn. Being there for the whole, all of us were there for the whole process of writing it. Yeah, we're all, we were all there, just kind of, you know, hammering on out. it. And yeah. they are gifted musically, both of them. So we just kind of worked at it, and it just kind of came about. All right. Can you tell us? Is there anything we should be looking out for next from the three of you, or or anyone in particular? <laughs> uh, well, I wish I could say there was something happening on the. Um, uh, a, a big new single coming from me, but I'm just I, I, my other job is I'm a record producer, so mm -hmm. most days are in the studio. We have several projects coming, and and uh, um, a Carrie Underwood live DVD and a new Sarah Evans album coming, and yeah, some, he produces some, Carrie Underwood and Sarah <laughs> Evans. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's the way I feel. Wonderful. Well, we'll look out for that, and uh, thank you so much, guys, and thank congratulations you, again. Thank you. Thanks All for right. having us.